hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Olufemi Adu today I'll be teaching you how to make a simple bridal fascinator using paper mats fascinator block thumbtacks some fabric flowers netting stiffener petroleum jelly or vaseline and nylon let's get started all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is dampen my paper mats. It helps me mold the fascinator easily you know, instead of it being dry. So I prefer to dampen my paper mats. Um, the next thing is to wrap your fascinator block in nylon and use some petroleum jelly to rub all over the block. It makes it easier for you to pull out the uh, fascinator when it's dry. So now I'm going to place my paper mat one after the other on the facetin. Did I just say facetin? Oh my god. On the fascinator block. Please excuse me. Oh my god. So I have some top tags on the table already that I'm going to use. The first thing I like to do is to um, hold the first four points. Just think of a plus sign, you know, or the sign of the cross. the first point, the second one, the third one and the fourth one. So that's the third point and I like to use a hammer because the thumbtack, the wood that was used to work for something is really hard so the hammer helped me. So you can see the plus sign. Now I'm going to do that all around, the same thing with the top tack, all around and ensure that your paper mat is firm on the mold, let it not be used on the mold. You can see how I'm holding it, yes, like that. When I pull my paper mats um, while I'm in the thumbtack I just I like to use my thumb to you know rub it down so it's firm you see what I'm doing I'm using my thumb to hold it down when I clean the top tack on the fastening
voila, that's the final thumbs up. And I'm done. So I'm going to cut off the excess, the excess paper mat. See how smooth it is on the fascinator block. So I'm cutting off the excess before I stiffen. So we're ready to stiff it to add our stiffener. Okay, so the first thing I do is get some little water because the type of stiffener I use is usually the consistency is very, very thick. So I have to dilute it a little bit with some water. That's what the stiffener looks like. Some people sell already diluted stiffener in the market, but I like to buy the really thick one so that I can do it you know, the way I like. Now I'm mixing the stiffener with the water. You have to ensure that there are no lumps in your stiffener because if there are lumps, when your fascinator gets dry, there's the possibility of you seeing white patches like the lumps on your fascinator. Not, uh, I don't like the consistency, so I'm going to add a little bit and then mix it to ensure it's how I want it to be. Alright, so I'm ready to stiffen my fascinator. Okay, so th this is how I do my own stiffening. I take some uh, fascinator. Oh my God, there's a fascinator. Sorry. <laughs> um, the brush. That already has stiffener on it. I'm going to use it and beat it in, like you know, like you're beating the brush into the holes of the paper mat. So I do that round, all round, and then I rub. After I'm done beating it in, then I rub. Just watch what I'm doing. It's a very easy process, very very easy and simple process. Ensure you do the, you add stiffener to the edges and under too.
all right so i'm done stiffening i'm just adding finishing touches to my job so when you're done just put it under the sun to dry or you can put it somewhere and air dry too thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to see you in my next video bye